Welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a rectangular hole with flanges. Let's begin by activating the sketch tool. We'll place our sketch on this face of the plate. Activate the rectangle tool and let's drop it right about here. Now let's apply dimensions. Let's make this one 25 millimeters. OK. By 20 millimeters. OK. Right click, done. Two more dimensions are needed. Let's apply a fixed constraint here and exit the sketch. Let's activate the cut tool now. Select the profile and click OK. Here's my hole. Let's create some flanges now. Maybe 5 millimeters. OK. As you can see, if I try to create a flat pattern, I'm going to have a problem. Let's see what our error message gives us. Two plates are interfering. Yes, we have interference at all four corners. Let's cancel out of that message. What we'll need to do is cut the corners out of the sketch. Let's activate the line tool. Let's create a right triangle and one more on the other side. And let's dimension them. An angular dimension. We'll make it 45 degrees, OK. This one will also be 45 degrees. And let's exit the sketch. Finish sketch. Now let's activate the cut tool again. Select our profiles. Let's try the same thing on the other side, just a little bit differently. We're going to activate the line tool again. Here's one triangle. Same thing on the other side. OK, let's dimension them. This angular dimension will be 45 degrees. OK. And this one, let's make it 60. And exit the sketch. Now I'm going to activate the cut tool again and cut out these two corners. OK. Let's create another sketch. Project geometry. I'll project these edges. Exit the sketch. Activate the cut tool. Let's cut out these corners as well. Lastly, let's create a sketch on this face. Line tool. Here's our first triangle. And our second triangle. Right click, done. Do you remember the angular dimension of 60 degrees that I just created? Well, I need a corresponding 30 degree angular dimension here. And this will be equal to this one. OK, exit the sketch. Activate the cut tool. Let's select our profiles. Click OK. I want to take an isometric view now and apply a flat pattern. OK, now everything works. You see on these two corners we used 45 degrees. And on these two corners we use 60 and 30 degree angles. OK, let's try out one more example. I'm going to right click and delete this feature. Cut one, delete. Associated geometry, yes. Let's delete the flat pattern as well, otherwise it'll cause some problems. And let's create another sketch. We'll start with a triangle. Add equal relations. Let's dimension a side. Right click, aligned. We'll make it 30 millimeters. OK. Right click and done. Hmm. Let's actually just make it a little bit smaller. 
let's say 25 millimeters instead of 30. Okay. And we'll place it in the middle. Let's apply a fixed constraint to this point. And let's dimension that. Maybe 4 millimeters. Click OK. Let's exit the sketch. Now let's cut our hole. Activate the Cut tool. OK. And now we'll create some flanges on this side and this side. Click OK. Now let's try to create a flat pattern. As you can see, I'm going to have a problem. Two plates are interfering. What if I want to trim this corner from this point? You may recall that in my previous tutorial I did use this point. Let's cancel out of the error window. Here I'm going to do it in two stages. Let's start with the line tool. There's one corner. Let's do the other corner. Let's apply some dimensions now. This corner will be 60 degrees. This corner will make 30 degrees. OK, and let's exit our sketch. Now activate the Cut tool. Let's cut these corners and click OK. Now let's see what happens. I'm going to apply the Unfold tool and check out what happens on this corner. OK. Let's create another sketch. Project Geometry. I'll project this point. Now activate the Line tool. Close my profile. Right click, Done. Let's add a parallel relation. There we go, and exit the sketch. Activate the Cut tool. Select our profile. OK. Now let's right click on Unfold 1 and refold it. Let's do the same thing on the third side. Activate the Line tool. Here's my first triangle. And my second right triangle. Right click Done. Dimensions are needed. Let's give this an angular dimension of 60 degrees on this side. And 30 degrees on the other side. OK. And let's finish the sketch. Activate the Cut tool. Select our profiles to cut. Click OK. Let's try creating a flat pattern. You see we cut from this corner. And on this side, we cut from this corner. This concludes our tutorial on creating a cut with flanges.